Good evening and thanks for joining us. It's a topic many of you were concerned about. Where will the new Vigo County Jail be built? Commissioners have debated for several months, knowing they had until the end of this month to make a decision. And today that location was announced. News 10's Melissa Crash brings us up to speed on the details. This is where the Vigo County Commissioners decided to place the new Vigo County Jail. It's the former site of the International Paper property. It's located off of Prairieton Road just across from the Vigo County School Corporation Aquatic Center. And then down here will be a, an actual ponding area. Commissioner Judy Anderson showed News 10 some of the site plans during the announcement. Anderson said they made this decision based on several factors, including the county already owns the land. If they look at the plans and everything, they'll see that 62 acres is this whole area and we are only going to be using about 20 mm -hmm. or so. So there's a lot of potential. Commissioners explain there will still be room for riverfront development. People going up and down the street will never even know it's a jail unless you live here and know that that's what it is. The new location will be a single story building. Vigo County Sheriff Greg Ewing explains it's more than just a jail. It's a law enforcement complex. When you look at everything and the proximity to the courthouse, you know, we have to take that into consideration too. It's now up to the county council to decide on how to pay for this $68 million project. The, this is hurdle number one, um, and you know, I understand that there are people that are against this particular location, but, but I would argue that no matter what parcel is, is decided upon, not in my backyard seems to be the theory. News 10 asked the commissioners about a timeline regarding the new Vigo County Jail. Once ground breaks and this process gets started, it should be a 30-month plan. Reporting in Terre Haute, I'm Melissa Crash, News 10. One group that's disappointed with the selection of this site is Riverscape. The organization wants to revitalize along the Wabash River. We spoke with Charlie Williams of Riverscape. He says putting the jail at that location hurts their vision for the riverfront. Who's going to want to be there next to the jail? And you've already heard from the, from the Aquatic Center and, the, and other uh, okay. important voices. William says the Riverscape Board plans to meet soon and will elaborate further on their position on the jail's location. 